Uh, I'm Matt Miller. I'm currently studying a Masters of Design at RMIT University. My role in the AT and Solarcar team is lead designer, um, build team leader, and driver. At RMIT, we're collaborating with four other universities around the country to develop the solar car. Um, our role here is the uh, vehicle design and using technologies such as uh, CAD and 3D printing, we produced a scale model for uh, wind tunnel testing. Cameron Chusley is my name. I'm the founder of Team Arrow and I was the vehicle designer for the Arrow STF, which raced in the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge in 2017. And we're down here in Melbourne collaborating with the ATN Group as part of the vehicle that they're building for this year's Bridgestone World Solar Challenge. The Bridgestone World Solar Challenge is a 3,000 kilometre uh, journey from Darwin to Adelaide, uh, where teams from around the world build solar cars to compete. Uh, we're really keen to see all of the Australian teams do as well as possible the event. We're quite an experienced solar car team. Uh, we've raced now five events, ATN's first year this year, so we're working together with them to make sure that they get the best start, and part of that is actually using some of the technology that we've developed. And ATN are returning the favour by allowing us to get access to RMIT's amazing wind tunnel facilities. Using the wind tunnel allows us to uh, establish um, wind speed uh, to match the environment of the World Solar Challenge through the Outback. So one of the amazing things about the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge is where some of this technology ends up. People look at these vehicles and they think solar cars, what's it practical? But we have several manufacturers in Europe at the moment bringing these vehicles through to mainstream. Uh, we have all sorts of technologies, so if you look at organisations like Tesla, for example, uh, the heart of some of the engineering of that has come out of solar car races. We have a fast charger company you know, developing in Australia, employing 300 people emerge from solar car racing. So some great avenues where the race technology becomes real world technology and that's one of the areas we're certainly promoting at the moment. This project's important to me personally because I'd like to see solar cars one day become desirable for everyday public and at the moment they seem to be a science experiment uh, whereas as times the way they are we need to have something more sustainable that is desirable. Um, something that kids can look up to and say, I want one of them, I want to drive that. 